sofa delivered this minute for this room. I'll explain it in a bit when the sofa's here, but I've got to go and meet the guys. It's gonna replace this seat here. Gotta go and get them. is here, the sofa's here. The delivery men were absolutely fantastic. This house is so awkward, the doors are narrow, it's up an alleyway, or that door is out onto a balcony and stairs. It, it's just the most awkward house ever to get things into. And they rang me this morning and they said, uh, have you got any double doors? Because this sofa does not come to pieces, it's the most awkward sofa to deliver. And I was like, um, no, you're coming to the most awkward house in the world. Says I did tell the salesman, I, which I did. I took the measurements in, I warned them. And they said, yeah, it'd be absolutely fine. So I was a little bit worried there this morning when they rang up and said that. I thought we're not gonna have a sofa. Mom's gonna be so disappointed. And I'm just absolutely over the moon for her that the sofa is in and she has somewhere to sit. Yes. Let's sit on it, I haven't sat on it yet. Let's have a sit. Ah, uh, oh, there we go. That's a good sofa. That's fantastic. Oh, it's so strange to be able to sit on a seat in here. Let me explain a little bit. The flat is part of the house. I've said before we we're in the middle of renovating. We've renovated half of it, um, which is the ground floor and this floor. We renovated it in lockdown and it was mine and James's task. It was literally brick walls, no electricity, no plumbing, um, floorboards, and that was it. So we spent the whole of lockdown. And I wanna say we renovated it, I mean, we renovated it. We did everything from putting the boards on the wall, The elect James is an electrician, so the everything's fine. Or he was an, James was an electrician in a past life, so it's all fine. It's all very safe. Um, but we had to learn how to do the plumbing, or rather James learned and I helped out where I could, basically just doing manual labour-y bits. But the only thing that we didn't do, there was two things that we didn't do in this flat. We got someone in to do the plastering He's our neighbour, he's a fantastic, lovely guy called Andy. Andy knew a carpenter, a chippy, who did the, hung the doors for us because the doors are really awkward in here. Like I said, they're narrow, funny, funny shapes. Um, and he also cut the kitchen tops for us. But everything else we did, we fitted the kitchen, we fitted the bathroom. Honestly, we're so proud of it. We really are. We worked so, so hard. <sighs> lots and lots of 12 hour days, late nights. And it, it, we didn't have a day off. We just kept going and going and going. Um, so these two floors are now completely renovated. It's just the house part which we live in, which like I said, it used to be my family home um, and it has not been decorated renovated or anything for a very long time my dad was very poorly and couldn't do any of it and my mom bless her did her best so she painted she kept everything clean but couldn't really do the upkeep that needed doing uh, so we've taken that task on um, and now obviously the world's back to normal we're all working, we're all busy, and our part of the house renovation is just gonna get done bit by bit. But yeah, let's get this sofa in place for it. I'd, oh, 
I haven't got anything to style it with. Um, I know mom has been out and she's bought bits for it and she's got color schemes in mind and all sorts. So I will try and nip down here and get some footage of it when she's actually styled it for you. But for now, let's try and get it in place for her so when she comes home, she's got a lovely sofa to come back to. relatively easy. Oh. Let me show you round. I'm going to start off with this view because I think I have a before picture looking from this sort of angle. So I'll input that now. So this is her main living space. Um, She's just got some IKEA units over here because she wanted some storage. Then she's got her canvases up at the top. Um, all of this older furniture she's brought down from the main house when she moved down here. So we've tried to integrate that as well for her. But yeah, th she's talking about this space here. Obviously, this chair is going to the tip. It is completely ruined. It's no good for anybody else. Otherwise, of course, we'd give that to someone who needed it. But it's just, it's it's trashed, completely trashed. So she is talking about possibly getting a dining table in here. I don't know if she'll change her mind now. She's seen how much space there is now that the sofa's in, but that's up to her. So this is her moving into her living space. She's got the little dog bed down here for Bella and Ozzy. TV, which we've put on the wall for her, and this beautiful fire, which is just fantastic at night time when it's on, and then with these um, wall lights as well. It just looks beautiful. It's so cozy, so comfy. Um, yeah, this is her back door. I'm not actually going to show you out there properly yet because it's not done. We're still waiting on balustrade um, and things to actually put the balcony together but yeah so this is her living space it's a really decent sized room um, from here we created her a utility room she's gonna kill me for letting you see all of this but I know that she is a very tidy person so I don't have to check it will all be fine she's got a big shelf up here to store things because there is not a lot of storage in the flat and then we put her nice big long coat rail so she can have things like that and store the ladders and things and then across to the other side again we've got another big shelf we matched the kitchen tops with a top in here for her and she's got her tumble dryer and washing machine um, she was very proud of herself because she hung these on the wall herself just to keep them all tidy and nice. So that's her utility. So from the utility, I'm saving the kitchen and the bathroom to last because oh, I love them. You go into here and this is where the little doggies are. You just pop the lights on this is the bedroom I will do you a before in here as well so this is the state of it as it was before as you can see brick walls floorboards just no lights nothing no plumbing no radiators nothing so we did this room so what was the hardest thing was getting the boards up to these beams here um because obviously we wanted to keep these beams as a feature because they're beautiful and then we did we also did a recess for her um that was a door because this wasn't a bedroom originally 
Um, so where the door was, we uh, you can see she's getting ready for Christmas. She's got bits. But we created this bookshelf slash storage area where we've also made sure that we've put plug sockets in down here so that if she wanted to, she could put a TV in there, small TV, um, and she'd have the electrics. But we, or James, say we, keep saying we. At night, it's beautiful. Let me see if I can turn that off. And then she's got recessed lighting in there, which is a bit of mood lighting for her, which is great. So that is the bedroom. This, people, this is Ozzy. Say hello, Oswald. Say hello. Yes, I know. Good boy. And this is the lovely Bella. So I best show you. This is Belle Belle. Here we go. And she's just getting her pieces together. She's buying things gradually for the flat. So she bought this mirror not too long ago. I'm not quite sure where she got it from. But and that's really nice. Fits in. So if we exit the bedroom. I'm going to pause here first before we go in because I've got a really good before picture from here. I'm sure I have um, from this angle and also from this angle too. I want to take a shot for you so you can see exactly what it used to be like. And there's one other angle that I know I've got a before picture from as well, which I think is from here. So you can see exactly what we started with and then what we've ended up with. So we've got this beautiful archway that we left in. We didn't want to put a door in, we wanted it all open plan. And, oh, I love this room. James made a wine rack down here, which again, if I turn the main lights off, just so that you can see, she's got Again, recess lighting so that she doesn't have to have everything on. This is her wine rack that James made from scratch for her. She love, and then she's got recess lighting over here as well so she doesn't have to have all the lights on all day. But let's turn those back on. Now, this was a Pinterest idea. I found it on Pinterest and we all loved it. We have put boxing in all the way around here and we've put, I don't know if you can see they're here as well, and we've put spots all the way around the room. I love the island. I'm so jealous of this kitchen. I really am. I love this island and the fact that you can cook, sit around, have a chat in the kitchen. I mean, I have nothing like that upstairs. Yet, we'll get there, we will get there. So yeah, we used real wooden tops, um, a kitchen, which we got from, I can't remember where we got it from, but yeah, we did everything on a really strict budget. Say so anything that we could reuse or such as we had some kitchen top left over. So we made a shelf which sits up here out of the leftover kitchen top and she can put all her glassware and her vases up there. Yeah, she's got a nice big recess under here so she can put pots and pans. See, that was never originally in the idea, but there was going to be so much wasted space because the room isn't square that we wanted to make use of every inch. Yeah, an induction hob, cooker, the sink, go round. These beautiful lights, which were from Next. I love these lights. I just think they're fantastic sat over here. So over the uh, island, they're just, they're beautiful. And this is a bit quirky. So there's the front door, comes in there, down those steps and into her beautiful kitchen. And of course she's got nice big drawers here as well. So she has all her crockery and things there. And pots and pans there you see I know I'm safe to open these drawers because it keeps them all nice oh and this was an added extra as well with the bottle fridge because when the people who did the kitchen this was 
we ordered it without James and we really shouldn't have because the people who designed it actually designed the kitchen to stop here. I mean, like, that's ridiculous. We're wasting space. So the fridge was going to be up against this cupboard and, and that wine that wine chiller wasn't going to be there. But we did loads of measurements. We worked out we could make it as long as possible. And that's what we did. Put her a wine filler in because she does like a nice glass of wine. And she has a dishwasher. I do not have a dishwasher. I would love a dishwasher. Mum's never owned one before either, but we put her a dishwasher in. So she's got all the mug cons. So that is the kitchen. Now, this door. What is behind this door, I absolutely adore. We put our heart and soul into this room and I just, I love it. So, are you ready for this? Are you ready to see what's behind this door? Let's go. Here we go. So this is mum's bathroom. Oh my God, I'm so jealous. I love it. I just, I love it, love it, love it. So much care went into this room. We tiled it all of ourselves. James set himself a little bit of a challenge to do this herringbone tiling at the back, but he did that. And this, this piece of furniture, we were desperately looking for a large, something large to sink unit slash storage to go in here. And everything just looked plasticky and wrong and it, it just wouldn't work. So we found this from Oak Furniture Land, which is actually where we got the sofa from as well today. But we found this and it is a dresser and we have converted, I keep saying we, James. James converted it into a sink unit. So drilled a hole in the top for the sink to drain out of and for all the water to go up into. And all we ended up losing was this top drawer here. Everything else still works. Just that top drawer that we can't use. But we just, and it works as well, that we thought the top works and the wood with everything else. So if I come into here and this mirror, I love this mirror. I think it was from the range, to be honest. Um, Mum and I went and we picked out this mirror to go over the top. But I just, I, I love this sink. I love the way, and she's got her little ducks look. She's got her little ducks which sit on the side. This is just, it's, you know, you've got more storage than you could have asked for. Just takes a bit of, oh, it was so scary. The day that James had to take a hole out of the top of here was petrifying because we thought if we get this wrong, we just wasted so much money that we really can't afford to waste. Um, but yeah, it worked it works but then if you come around here you don't really get to see this but we also fitted all of this into the bottom so she's got somewhere to roll her towels up and again we match the wood so that it flows with the doors with the kitchen tops and with the top and with the sink unit as well so there's that there now, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, why is the toilet on a step? The toilet is on a step because mum insisted. We tried to convince her not to, but it's what she wanted. Yeah, that is mum's bathroom. Oh, and I remember we lowered this ceiling about, I'd say two foot, we lowered this ceiling. Um, yeah, and I'll show you, I've got pictures of me actually putting the ceiling beams in and everything. So I'll just put some before pictures in of here as well. Just a blank canvas, a blank room. I just, yeah, I can't believe we did it. I'm so proud of ourselves. You know, I can't believe how far and what we did. But that is the bathroom. You might be saying, but Tara, what's behind this door? I'm not gonna show you what's behind this door because none of it is done behind that door. So I'm gonna leave you with this illusion that it is all done and it is all complete. And then maybe in a future video, when we have done what we are planning out there, 
I will show you what's behind that door. I hope you enjoyed that tour. I've been dying to show you all the renovation, but I haven't been down here. So, um, and when mum's here, I don't want to chuck mum out and say, oh, I want to show off your house. Just didn't feel right. So, um, but this is the perfect opportunity because I had to be down here to get the sofa in. I can't wait till we can do something like that to our kitchen upstairs. We've got so many ideas for it. So fingers crossed, it won't take us too long till we can do it. So plenty more renovation stuff coming. So if you like seeing the before and afters and you like seeing sort of work as it goes and you can follow it along with me, then subscribe because there's gonna be plenty of renovation stuff going on as we do our house where we're living so that we can have a nice beautiful home too but yeah i'm so happy that mum has got her sofa in and eventually she has somewhere to sit as for me i need to go and get on with some work because i'd love to sit in here all day and relax but i can't i've got things to do 